Hello and welcome to yet another outwardly experience. Today we will be talking about how to read or write a file from your RageMP script, server, code, program, whatever you want to call it. Alright, let's get straight into it. So for this I will be writing a file for all the SQL data, like let's say hostname, username, password, database. And if there is no file, we will create a file and get, write all the default values for it. So first I will make it modular and get a new folder. I will call this MySQL. I will add a class inside it. Uh, let's call this MySQL as well, because, well, why not? There we go. We are going to reference GTA Network API. We are going to reference suing, wow, using system.io, because this contains all the file methods, by methods I mean functions, class, string, whatever you want to say, and system.reflection. That's all we need for now. Now, first things first, in the class MySQL, we are going to get right some variables that we need. So, public string host. Give the attributes get and set. And we will add four more things like this. But instead of host, we will use username. password and database we will take another static variable and I hope you remember what static variable is or a static type static type is basically if you create an object from a class the static type will not get created again and again but only once so public static uh, boolean uh, is connection set up and I'll make it false just an initialized value now we will make a constructor so public mysql and to reference the current object this host is equals to I will give the default value of host as localhost I'll copy this another one now that host is done, we will use username, give the username default value as root, give the password default value as nothing, give the database default value as, let's say, test, I forgot what my database name was, test database, okay, test database. So these are basically the variables of this class. This is a static variable, so it won't get created again and again. In the constructor, I'm just giving initialized value to all these variables. Now, for the main thing, we will make a function public static uh, boolean initiate connection. So this is a static function, so we do not need to create, uh, instead of boolean, I'll just make it void. So since this is a static function, we do not need to create an object to actually access this function. We can just access it, access it by just mentioning the class name, which is MySQL, and the name of the function. First and foremost thing, we need the file path, where the path of the file will be stored, and where we will check if the file exists, if it does, then we will load the data. If it does not exist, we will create a file and then store the default data. So first of all, we will make a string file path, made a spelling mistake, there we go. And we will use path.combine. This basically combines any directory to any parameter that you pass in the second parameter. Let's say I will put SQL info dot JSON. And over here, this part, there should be the directory name. 
so we will use path dot get directory name and then over here we will use an assembly dot get executing assembly dot location this part gets the exact assembly location from where the program slash script slash code is working from or the slash dot dll is working from this function will give the directory of the name that means we will go one path up and path dot combine will basically combine this directory with sql info .json. so we have made the file path now we will check if the file exists or not so if file dot exist and we will add file path if it does exist and an else for if it does not exist so if it does exist we will use a custom function that we made in a previous video which is log server we will use that if the file exists so we will write file found loading data if it does not exist we will use main log server and we will write file does not exist creating a file with default values this part is basically if the file is found this part is if the file does not exist so let's say if the file does not exist what we will do is we will create the file so we will do a try and a catch wait we do not need a try and catch for this we can simply use uh, a writer function so using um oh before we actually create it since this is a class we will make an object right over here so first let me make that object uh my sql that is the name of the class and the name of the object will be let's just write sql is equals to new my sql so this is an object that was created from this class so there are instances that is made from here but not this variable because obviously static I keep repeating again and again about static so remember it it will come handy now that we have the what do we call it the object from the class mysql okay now that we have the object sql from the class mysql and if we do find file is found if we do find the file well sorry if we don't file the file file is not found if we do not find the file what we will do is first we will change this thing an object to a string how do we do that first of all let me take a string and write sql data the name of the variable is equals to nepi dot util dot to json and if you hover your mouse over to json you can see that the parameter that it requires is an object data so over here i'll just pass sql because in sql we have these variables it'll automatically store uh, i mean pass sql and change it into a string and then we will use using stream writer stream writer writer is equals to new stream oops well mistake stream writer and the name of the sorry the path of the file which is stored inside file path so file path there we go and we will just do writer the right line and we will write the sql data that was converted from an object to a string so sql data now we have over here we could not find the file so we gave an prompt we gave a prompt that the file was not found over here we changed the object sql which contains all of these variables from an object to a string and we are using stream writer 
with the help of using so that we do not have to use try and catch and I